Let's go to five players from the Eagles for Super Bowl 57 to keep an eye on. Not named Jalen Hurts, not named Lane Johnson, A.J. Brown, Hassan Reddick. Let's, but let's start with Jason Kelsey right here. I mean, it is the Kelsey Bowl. Like, his ability just to open up holes, all right? He can run like nobody else's business, and usually at the end of the play, he's there to greet whoever had the ball. I mean, Jason Kelsey is just the best center in football. But you watch this touchdown run to the right by Boston Scott. Watch what he does to Nick Boza. He's just knocking people down. He's been doing this now for a dozen years. Like, he's the best center in football. Here he is on a pin and pull. Dickerson blocks down the left guard, and he's going to pull, and he's going to block on Dre Greenlaw right here. But he's not just going to block him. He's going to take him for a ride. That's what Jason Kelsey does. All right? Kelsey in the Kelsey Bowl. Which Kelsey is the best? Because in pass protection, wherever your best pass rusher is, in this case, Nick Bosa, here comes Kelsey to help. He's like the plumber. He's just going to seal all the leaks right there. Now, Jalen Hurts wants to get outside the pocket and float this one to Devontae Smith on fourth and three for a first down. Very well. They need three. Hurts runs out of the pocket, looking for a deep Devontae Smith. One-hander. It's the end. He's got it. First and goal, Philadelphia. The Philadelphia offensive line, widely regarded as the best unit in the league. Fourth down conversion, the offensive line does the rest. Let's go to maybe their best running back. Might be Kenneth Gainey out of the backfield. What I like right here in this play is look at how quickly he looks back for the ball right here. Like he's got more plays, more yards, and more touches in the postseason than any other Eagles running back. He can make something out of nothing like he does right here. Like this is an inside zone. And he doesn't really feel anything there. But he does press the hole. Now, right here, he's got the quicks. to Get outside the pocket right here and make something happen for 12 yards. He's got 29 touches for 195 yards in the postseason. The best of any running back or best of any back for the Eagles in the postseason. Now, you watch him right here. And on this play, this check down, like you look at both Dre Greenlaw and Fred Warner. I mean, they might be the best inside tandem of linebackers in the league. But watch what Gainwell can do right here. Catches it, he's going to make Dre Greenlaw miss and Fred Warner both miss. Like, he's their short yards back. He's their red zone back. He's their goal line back. Like, right now, Kenneth Gainwell is becoming the feature back, even though he doesn't start for the Philadelphia Eagles. Hurts over the middle. Gainwell makes a catch. Makes a great move. And another and dives down near the 45. Good move by Gainwell to get around Greenlaw to pick up nine. Now, let's go one more here for the offense. Let's just look at Jordan Malata, the left tackle. Not many people can do what Jordan Malata can do. He's going to take Samson Ebicom right here and put him into the end zone and then just sit on him. Like, move him five yards and then just sit on him. Right now, Jordan Malata, you watch what happens right here on this play. Nick Bose is going to go inside. He's just going to throw him inside. A non-factor on the play is Jalen Hurts takes it for 12 yards. And then they'll go unbalanced. Here he is over next to Lane Johnson on the right side. And this is a play supposed to be a screen away to the tight end Dallas Goddard, except they kind of snuff the play out. But watch what he does to Bosa right here. Like, not only does he take him down to the ground, he's going to roll on top of him on sit on him. Like, there's a mentality Jordan Mulata that you love for this offensive line. Hurts rolling that way. Stepping back. Play is blown up. Now, another player to watch. Defensive tackle, number 97, Javon Hargrave. He's been their best interior defense lineman three years in a row. Like, he gets to Josh Johnson right here and takes him down for his 12th sack of the season. 12 sacks from the defensive tackle position. Now, he draws double teams all the time like he does right here. But he's active, though. Here, he almost intercepts that ball on Sunday against the 49ers and felt like maybe a little more stick him on the gloves would have had himself an interception. And then in the run, like he's just a dominant player in the run. He doesn't get moved off the ball. He just play, fights right over this choke block of Brendel. All right? Eyes up, head up, wrap up. Javon Hargrave is a problem inside for the Kansas City Chiefs. Second and long, McCaffrey. Not much there. And then finally, the fifth player to really take a look at is Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. He's a safety, but the closer he gets to the line of scrimmage, the more effective he is. And he's excellent in the run game at just being able to dart through the line of scrimmage and just, just knock guys down like he takes Christian McCaffrey down right there. Then you watch him right here on a safety rotation. All right, him and Marcus Epps are the starting safeties. But even right here, you get the ball to McCaffrey in the open field, one of the best open field runners in the league, not against Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, he is. Oh, by the way, he did tie for the league lead in interceptions this year 
with six. But you watch him right here, again, watch him just play over the top, communicating all the time, like refuses to be blocked, head up, eyes up, wrap up. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, that's five for the Eagles. Kelsey, Gainwell, Malata, Hargrave, and Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Five guys to pay attention to in Super Bowl 57. 